Okay, in this video, we are going to tackle Skipping Stones and Mud Skippers, page three of the Bastion Piano Basics Technic Level One. All right, so these are some of the exercises that you really need to get down, and that for my students, when you come back, I really want these to be perfect. No thinking about them. All right, if you play these um, once a day, you'll be good. And the reason is because after you play it, you're supposed to move up to the next white key. So if you actually play this once a day, you're gonna go from C all the way up to the next C, which will be eight times you play it. C, D, E, F, G, A, B is seven, and then the next one, C, would be the eighth time you play it. All right, so we start off with skipping stones. Everything's gonna be C, E, or G. If you look, all of the intervals are a third, up or down, and so we're only gonna be using fingers one, three, and five. All right, and they're going in parallel. When we're playing C in one hand, we're playing C with the other hand. We go to E, back to, or, or up to G, back to E, and then play C, E, a G, E, blah, can't talk, C, E, G again, and then we do it in reverse. G, E, C, E, G, E, C. And then we move our hands up to D, F, and A, and we can read the music if we need to, and we're going to be reading intervals at this time because we're not actually playing C, E, G. Right now, even though we're looking at C, E, G, we're playing D, F, A, and A, F, D. All right, and so in the level ones, um, in the primary level, there's not a whole lot of two hands at once. There's some in the technique book, but you really get into a lot more of it in level one. So by the time you come back from your lesson, after a week of practicing skipping stones, it should be about this beat. And so on and so forth. Now let's take a look at mud skippers. Mud skippers starts off only in thirds and fifths, so we're still on one, three, and five for the first two measures, and then we get to some stepwise motion for the next two. So looking at it just quickly, again, it's in parallel, so we have C in the left hand, C in the right hand, E, G, and then another C. Measures one and two are identical, and then we have this little F, E, D, E, F. And then it kind of starts over. Measures five and six are identical to measures one and two. And then we have the little F, E, D, E, and then C at the end. So the only difference between the first line and the second line is the ending note, which is F on the first line and C on the second line. And then it will go up as well to the next note. Here's another one that should be a little bit quicker by the time you come back. So. A uh, good starting tempo would be about what we just did. You can use this tempo to get it under your fingers. One, two, three, rest. Line two. Now when you're learning this, you're gonna use that tempo going up all the way until you get to the next C, but by the time, um, about halfway through the week, you should be about the tempo of And then by the time you come back, it should be very relaxed and very smooth.